Alan Richson is based. Now, if you're not familiar with Alan, he is the lead actor for the hit series Reacher, a show that I've watched and enjoyed quite a bit. It is a no-nonsense, like, thrill ride series where we just have a lot of action, a lot of drama, really good fighting, special effects, all that stuff. It's all there in the series. And it seems to reach across the aisle in an era where it seems like everybody's expected to watch stuff based on their political or social alignment. It's a really weird space we're in when it comes to media. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Uh, but on the surface level, this guy exemplifies everything that conservative America seems to be championing, which is the idea of a straight, white cisgendered Christian man being the lead star of a series. So this is like their poster child. Like he's very physically fit, very handsome guy. So this seems to be the perfect brew for a lot of the conservative critics online who are looking to call everything under the sun woke. And so I found a video by a content creator here on YouTube named Yellow Flash. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with him. I'm familiar with him, unfortunately. Um, he, again, is one of these content creators that just puts out outrage content. He does rage bait, uh, content farming, people to get angry, to get clicks from them. This is what he does. And we're going to watch a video. I've pitched up the speed. It's only six minutes. We're going to go through this. And I'm going to explain to you why, well, debunking, obviously, and showing why guys like Yellow Flash and people in the space talking about this Alan Richson thing are just hypocrites. They have a double standard and they backtrack and 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 talk over themselves in terms of topics and things like that it's actually funny that yellow flash even left this video up because it is so telling but before we get into this video if you go on to enjoy my video and you want to fight back against this nasty negative algorithm that youtube seems to be nurturing that puts a lot of content like this up at the top of the search functions if you want to dismantle that we have to do it from the inside i'm already seeing the effects of it so join the revolution today subscribe to my channel hit like and leave a comment down below and let's change the algorithm from the inside so we can diversify the search results so it's just not all this negative content that's showing up all right so we're going to watch this video from yellow flash and um i can promise you that he is going to contradict himself and uh, basically talk against a lot of his points that he's making in the video, in the six minute video. Here we go. Amazon has a pretty big hit on their hands with Reacher. It's been doing very well. In fact, I talked about that two months ago. Talked about how this show was doing extremely well. Mm -hmm. The ratings are through the roof. Yeah. Everybody seems to like it. That takes the time to watch it. It's a no nonsense show. Mm -hmm. Nothing really woke about it. It just tells a fun story. Uh, both so it's it's not a woke show that makes it good automatically boom tick off the box not woke all right good story. seasons have been surprisingly good and the ratings reflect that i think it's something that a lot of people are looking for when we live in a world of woke superhero <laughs> stuff that's all that seems to come out you, know? you sound so stupid you really do you it's just uh all right anyway let's get through this. a reacher it's kind of nice it's kind of nice to see a show like that and for it to do well I would really love for this show, like, I'm trying to think, like, how I want to approach this. I would love for people to just like the show for being a good show, right? If you're a fan of the show, just be a fan of the show. Don't be a fan of the show because it's not woke. Don't be a fan of the show because it doesn't have any of these political topics, social topics in it. Just be a fan of the show because it's a good show. That's enough. That's more than enough. And I'm sure the people working on the show would appreciate that more than being like, ah, it's good because it's not woke and all these superhero movies are woke. But I always forgot about the Hollywood element when it came mm. to this show. And by that, I mean the actors involved with it because they don't like to just have nice things. They've always got to get out there and talk about how they feel about stuff and turn away a large portion of their audience. And Alan Richson is no different. Okay. So first I want to say the title of this video is reach Your star goes insane, which um, is again, we're dealing with outrage culture on the internet. Uh, but this idea of him going insane, what does that even mean here? Alan Richson has been very vocal on social media for a very long time about how he feels. Very liberal, progressive guy, um, supports police reform. Uh, in the article here, he talks about his dislike of Trump. His, he, he basically condemns Trump. Um, an individual person condemns Trump. Uh, he talks about like all the problems within the Catholic Church which we know about this. These are documented things that are going on. How does that make him insane? Uh, attacks his audience and goes full woke um, with Trump derangement syndrome. I just, these titles at least somewhat reflect what the actual content is you're talking about. Which by the way, I want to say I'm so 
just over these people on YouTube that just pull up articles from like Bounding into Comics, Park Place, Fandom Pulse, and use that as some sort of like actual legitimate news source. It's really not. It's really not. So he decided to do an interview and pretty much just slam Trump, which there's nothing brave and stunning about that because everybody does it. Oh, so everybody does it. So uh, what is this? Why are you acting surprised and outraged then? Why are you upset about it? Why are you mad if he's doing something that everybody does? If it's such a common thing, then um, what's what's the issue here with him doing it? Why is it surprising? Why is it shocking if it just happens all over the place? It's not stunning and brave. It's just very, it's a very normal, common thing. Okay. I really don't get the point. Regardless if you like him or not, uh, it doesn't matter if you don't like him. He's extremely popular and a lot mm. of people like him. And I guarantee you, a lot of people like him more than they like this show. A lot of people, are you saying a lot of people like Alan more than they like the show or like Trump more? I mean, I'm assuming you mean Trump. So in other words, you as a, as a citizen of this country or anybody with any sort of free speech at all, um, you can't speak out against a political figure because of their popularity. Is that what you're suggesting here? Is that the insinuation that if a political figure has a lot of fans, and more fans than you, that you should oppress yourself, suppress what you say, and not speak out against something that you consider wrong because they're more popular. Do you understand how fucking stupid that sounds? And I'm going to just take a wild guess and and say, and this is speculation, but I'm going to just go ahead and guess that a large portion of the Reacher audience likes Trump. Okay, so here's where you need a citation. You said it's speculation, which means that you have no proof of this, right? You have no proof. And I've already watched this video, so we're just kind of going through the motions here as I watch with you guys. Um, but the entire argument hinges on the fact that Yellow Flash believes that the Reacher fan base is mostly Trump supporters. So that's the argument that he's making, that, that Alan should not express his opinion because he's he's offending the fans of the show who are mostly Trump supporters with literally no proof of that whatsoever. He just admitted it. So this entire video is like a cope session uh, of him trying to rationalize how someone that outwardly reflects the values of conservative America does not support Trump and is openly talking against Trump. He doesn't understand that and uses the viewership of the show as the hinge for his argument. My cat made an appearance. I had to pause recording. Hello. <laughs> All right. Break time is over. Let's go. <laughs> it's a wild guess. I don't know, but I'm going to guess that a lot of that audience likes Trump. So it makes no sense mm. for the lead to come out and trash him. I don't get that. It makes no sense. So you're, you are basing the logistics of his statement on a nebulous, non-provable number of viewers for Reacher. And that is your argument. This is where we are in the discourse with these people online. When I say these people, I mean the bigots, uh, the phobes, the outrage farmers on YouTube that are struggling to maintain their viewership because every single day, with the exception of a couple of them, these channels are seeing uh, drops in numbers. And I'm going to do a full video breakdown of that at some point where I show you guys just how the channels are fluctuating and there's some outliers, but for the most part, the, uh, as we say, the Chud Pocalypse is real. Regardless if you like him or not, you don't have to like him, Alan Richson. You don't have to like him. But just don't talk bad about him. You don't have to like him, but you need to shut your mouth and not talk about him. That's some censorship shit from yellow flash but it seems kind of stupid hmm. to come out against him when you don't have to you don't no he doesn't have to it's, there's no there's no one forcing him to do it which means he decided to do it because he believes in what he's saying he's a man of conviction he makes youtube videos talking about his faith about his christianity it, it would make less sense for him to not say anything uh, because he's obviously a very forward thinking individual. He's a progressive 
Christian who believes in love and empathy and caring and spreading that word around the world as a Christian. I'm not a Christian myself, but I can totally respect someone who actually takes the words of the Bible and tries to bring people into a loving, caring community that really wants to make a difference instead of doing what a lot of you guys do on here who claim to be Christian, but spend their entire existence on YouTube hating stuff. Uh, so him coming out and speaking about Trump in this way is not a surprise whatsoever. And anybody that is a fan of Allen's on social media especially his Instagram, where he's posted a lot of stuff talking about police reform, uh, BLM, things like that. He's talked about all this on his Instagram. It's no big secret. If you're a huge fan of him and you watch the show, you would know that. You would already know that. This doesn't feel to me like this is anything new other than him doing it in an article instead of on his social media. But nothing has changed. He's had this stance for a long time. You don't have to say anything. Uh, but what makes it crazy is, I like I said, I guarantee you there is a large number of people that like him that watch this show and now you've put a poor taste in their mouth okay so we're gonna use um a little bit of your energy back at you yellow flash has made at least that i've seen over maybe six seven eight probably more videos about gina carano who should be allowed to express her freedom of speech her freedom of expression even though she was on a disney show and the fans of that show may not have liked the stuff she was saying, but she should have the right to say it because she has free speech. He has supported this. He's talked about it. He's made live streams about it um, on his flashcast. He's talked about it in videos before. Go to his channel, type in Gina Carano. You'll see them. This is all public stuff. It's all out there. So somehow he supports Gina Carano's right to express free speech, for her to talk about politics, social issues, cultural issues, and there should be no repercussions. We should just accept it and separate the art from the actor. So the actor can have their own personal opinions, but then we can still enjoy her and anything that we watch. These are the stances that almost all of these channels take collectively. And that Gina is a product of cancel culture because of the fact that she is speaking out um, against the popular opinion of a lot of people that may watch her show. And so we should support that because that is part of free speech. But here we have Alan who is saying what he says is something that a lot of people are saying, which is like talking out against Trump. So stunning and brave, blah, 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 or not stunning and brave is what he said. Uh, all these things that seem very common here. We're talking about that. And it seems like he wants Alan to shut up and not talk about his politics. And he shouldn't do that because if it'll bring damages to the show, it'll cause people to stop watching all this and that. But he did not seem to care about any of that when it came to Gina Carano. It's hypocritical. It's a double standard. And it really does exemplify just where we are in this space with these kinds of channels is that they just do not understand that people should have freedom of speech and freedom of expression. It doesn't matter what their political allegiance is, but they always seem to only take a different stance against it when it is someone that they don't agree with. When somebody who starts talking about MAGA starts talking out about against anything conservative, all of a sudden that entire freedom of speech thing just goes out the window for them. I talked about this on X the other day and a couple people said, well, I guess I won't be watching Reacher season three. How many people actually turn this show off because of this? I don't know. No, you don't know. And a couple people on X telling you that doesn't matter because again, there's no accountability for any of this. There's nobody holding anybody to any standard. When somebody goes, I'm going to boycott X, Y, Z, it's a virtue signal. It's a virtue signal because there's no accountability. There's no proof that, that person isn't doing those things. If I were to tell you that I'm never going to buy anything from Burger King again, because of whatever reason, when are you going to check me on that? When are you going to come around and see if I'm actually buying from Burger King? Are you going to be here at my house if I order Burger King at three in the afternoon and no one else is here except for myself? Where's the accountability in that? It doesn't mean anything. Those statements don't mean anything. But there's a potential that people will, and that's why it makes no sense to do it. So for those of you that are just listening. So the entertainment is more important than the actual message that people are trying to get out. When, when anybody is talking about things that they believe in, any things they're passionate about, they should always stop and think about how many people are not going to watch their show anymore. Because it's, it's more about Hollywood making money, the Hollywood machine that making money than it is about an individual actor or somebody involved with a project speaking out against something that they find really shitty. It's a really interesting take from somebody who is anti-Hollywood. Uh, the headline says here, Reacher star Alan Richson baffled at religious support for Donald Trump. He's a grapeist and a con man. And yet the entire Christian church seems to treat him like he's their poster child. Now, I know he's a Christian. Mm -hmm. Which is a much bigger Christian than any of you guys are. He does an entire like thing about it on YouTube where he talks about it. I've seen at least, uh, I don't know, four or five videos where he's talked very intimately about his faith. And uh, he does it on uh, Instagram as well. So, yeah, he's absolutely a Christian. Is a rare thing in Hollywood anymore. 
So that goes against your narrative. A Christian in Hollywood, don't you guys say that's impossible? People can't be Christians in Hollywood? Or is it just the fact that a lot of Christians Christians in Hollywood are assholes, uh, liars, and people that hate everybody? And uh, here we have a Christian that's actually doing something that's Christ-like. Uh, maybe that's the difference. So, you know, I, I don't I don't know how people that uh, feel a certain way about religious stuff and you are stumbling he is trying really hard you are you are struggling so much it's giving i don't know what to say it's only a six minute video but you had to virtue signal to your fan base you had to get out there and, and make this outrage content over something uh because you wanted to jump in and trash someone it's just it's it's in your dna and now you're stumbling because you can't find anything to say about this it's it's really difficult because you are attacking him based on his personal opinion. Uh, and then you make this headline up. That's a complete and utter lie. Trump feel or religious figures. I don't know. All I know is that he's super popular and <laughs> people are kind of tired and sick of Hollywood bashing on their politics, which is how I take. No, you're saying that they're sick of Hollywood talking negatively about Trump because people in Hollywood do not like Trump. Their personal opinion is they don't like Trump and you don't want to hear that. If if he were saying this about Biden or if he were talking about how uh, BLM is some sort of a awful organization or that queer people are a danger to people, like you would you would not even be making this video. Or if you did, you would be supporting what he says. It's a double standard. It's hypocrisy. It does. And, you know, it just seems like something you just didn't need to do. Uh, and this isn't just on him. He didn't this have to do it. He wanted to do it. They've spent years doing this shit just trashing anybody that doesn't vote left of mouth. Like they, they want everybody to, to follow their agenda. And if, if you don't follow it, you're not good enough to be their fan. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. So do you believe that the person you're a fan of has to support the same political party you support? Is that what you're suggesting here? That if like an actor does not support uh, conservatives, Republicans, whatever, that if they don't do that, then you cannot be a fan of them. Because that's the only angle there is. He didn't say, uh, fuck you, fans. If you're not supporting Biden, then don't watch my show. He didn't say that. That's in your head. You're making that up. Um, you're trying to draw this parallel with like, oh, if if the actor I like doesn't support the same political stuff I support or social stuff I support, then I guess I can't support them anymore. I mean, that's essentially cancel culture, right? They don't want you, and they actively tell you to F off. He didn't say and that. It, is something that a lot of people just don't like. What act uh, citation? What actor said that? Yellow Flash. What actor has said that? Told their fans to fuck off. Their actual fans told them to fuck off. I would love for you to provide that citation. And this was a dumb move. I'm not saying he needs to like Trump, but you know, it's like the old. It sounds like you are. It sounds like you are saying that he has to like Trump. One hundred percent. But, you know, it's like the old saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, <laughs> don't say anything at all. I think we're going to end it there. I think that's where we'll stop this video. Did Yellow Flash really just say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all? You said that. Your channel that is literally video after video after video after video of you talking negatively about stuff, of you trashing Hollywood, trashing actors, trashing directors trashing queer people, trashing women. And you have the nerve to tell Alan that if he doesn't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. You cannot be a serious person. I Right now, you are telling me that you are not serious at all, that this must be a parody account. This must be satire. This must be a straight up joke. The fact that you use that line to, to go after Alan tells me everything I need to know. I mean, I already knew it anyway. You're a punk ass. You're a dumbass. You're a coward. You're a clout farmer. You're an outrage bait content creator. You offer nothing of value to the space. And I will continue to say that about these guys. You have no opinion. You have nothing to say. I watched almost five minutes of the six minute video and I learned nothing from you. You did not provide me with any important context. You gave me speculation. You gave me misinformation. You gave me lies. It's giving me nothing. It's giving me absolutely nothing. This is garbage content. Goodbye.